Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link down below and use my code DIRTYCRAFTER for one free month. First came Real Little's lockers. And now I present to you Real Little's roller case and journals. For some reason, I just want to call them Real Little's luggages. But back by popular demand, so many of you grains really wanted me to see what's on the inside of these mystery boxes by Real Little's. In previous kits, we've done Real Little's backpacks, Real Little's Disney, Real Little's journals. And for those of you who don't know, Real Little's are basically small functional items of everyday kind of things, ranging from from pencils, pens, lip balm, stapler, a little bit of everything. However, I'm really worried about the Real Littles roller case and journal mystery boxes because when we did the lockers, they were huge disappointments because unlike the backpacks from Real Littles and the handbags from Real Littles, they had variety, but the lockers had none. Every single box was exactly the same thing. They said surprises. We didn't get any surprises because they showed you what you get in the back. I'm getting heated and I haven't even opened you. I'm not even giving you a chance. Please don't disappoint me and be the same thing. The concept here is that we're getting a roller case, I guess, for travel. And it even says that there's real beauty surprises. So I'm hoping there's a variation of different surprises in each one. That's why I have two of them. And these are pretty expensive. They're $20 each. And again, not findable in Canada. So thank you, Ace of Clay, for shipping them to me. If you like beautiful sculptures and a super talented person, definitely check out his channel. So I'm really curious to know if the quote unquote surprises are a mystery from any of the ones in the back, or are we getting all of them times two? So there's no variety, no changes. So there really isn't any incentive to get more than just one. But you know what? I came prepared. In case these two disappoint me... Oh. It's my... You saw nothing! I also have a Mermaid Real Littles backpack. So we're going to unbox this and hope that we can get maybe one of the limited edition calculators. We have spent hundreds, hundreds on Real Littles and have yet to find a single limited edition item. Please? Little mermaid, do me a favor and don't break my heart, okay? So we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna hope for the best. And for those of you new to this channel and you like little unboxings of mystery boxes, make sure you subscribe and click on all notifications. Otherwise, this sharp pointy thing will be very dangerous to me. <laughs> what was that even? <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna, we're gonna put one of these on, on the side. It tripped! Now here's the thing that I understand and don't understand about this kit. I understand that it is cute and that it's supposed to focus on a specific demographics. However, I'm not quite sure about the travel part. I feel like that's more teenage up, like late teens up, because then you're really interested in travel a little bit more. But then there's the journal with it. I guess you're journaling your travel. I see where this is going, but it feels a little bit far-fetched or stretched. Stretched is the word I was looking for. But now the question is, is it actually an enjoyable experience? And I will, of course, rate these out of 10 as usual. Holy shrimp, first impression, these are gigantic. When I put my hand next to it, look how small my hand is. And I'm telling you, for someone who did martial arts for the longest time, I have really big hands. Like, see, like, you see, I have big hands. Whoa, you watch it. We also get a super sparkly journal, but the sparkle is not an actual glitter, so it is a smooth surface. I can already see that there are surprises on the inside, similar to the Real Littles journals that we did. If you want to see the entire collection that we did, check the, uh, where, where am I pointing? Check down below. The link is down there. Oh, and that, that just popped. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and start with the journal and then see what's on the inside of these bags. Oh, whoa, wait, what? There are wheels and the wheels actually work? Look at that. Holy shrimp. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fancy Pants. I see you, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> so let's start off with the journal. It has an airplane, a map, and a camera, which basically is about documenting your travels. Oh, I don't even... Where's this supposed to be? I thought it was the outside. Okay, whatever. Whatever. So, 
Okay. Oh, it has a pouch on the inside. Okay, so what we get, what the heck? Oh, that is more packaging. I was like, nice, we actually get a checklist. No, this is more packaging. Okay, so here's what the journal looks like. We're going to find some surprises in here, but you can put your name and what does it look like on the inside? All right, so we have a map, probably a checklist. There you go, there's the checklist. And then it's going to disappoint me and then the rest of the pages are going to be blank, right? So far so good. We have, you can put pictures and there we go. That is the rest of the booklet, which are blank pages. So it's not like a mini journal. It's a mini notepad with fancy four or five pages at the beginning. And then here we should have Velcro. Very nice. And our pencil case is actually see-through. Okay. And it has little symbols of camera, the globe, a plane, some floaty things, a cassette. What's their obsession with the cassette? In the lockers, they also put a cassette. Now, don't get me wrong. I know what a cassette is. But some little grains watching with their parents don't know what a cassette is. And last I checked, this was written for six and up. Despite the fact that I do buy them and many of you grains keep sending me pictures that you're buying them, that you're the same age as I am. I guess we know what a cassette is, but the little ones do not. Wait, it's called a cassette, right? A tape. It's a cassette. Oh no, now I'm confused. <laughs> All right, I can already see a pencil. Let's take you out. And here is the tiny pencil and still with the theme of travel. Very cute. I also see some stickers. I want to take out the stickers. Yes. Oh my God. Those are absolutely phenomenal. You thought I was going to say cute, huh? Got you. I like to keep you on your toes. Oh, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Huh? Guess. What am I going to do next? I drink water. Time to hydrate. Hydrate yourself too. It's good for you. <clears throat> But yeah, these are very thematic. I love these. Even the little cup at the bottom, reminiscent of like Starbucks and traveling. I love getting a coffee at Starbucks or even a refresher. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Anytime I travel, it just feels right when traveling to get something like that. And then we have a stencil thing with an airplane, arrow, and then a camera. Old school camera. Does anyone use these anymore? And one of the things I'm not a huge fan of is usually their small stencil things are not compatible with their pencils. So you need to make sure that whatever pen or pencil that you have has a really long tip so that you can get into all the little nooks and crannies. And that is it in this little pouch. All right, we're going to put you back in here. Actually, we'll keep you out for now. All right, so I'm not quite sure how to go about these just yet. Do I... Do, oh, oh, you clip on. Naughty, naughty, naughty. That is convenient. Just like real luggage. Okay, let's start with the little ones. See what kind of surprises we have there. And I have to say, I am low-key disappointed that these zippers don't actually open. Because thus far, they've made everything functional except for the zippers on this one. Even the lock on the locker was actually working. But okay. Okay, let's open you. Oh no. Okay, a baggie. Look, if you're going to give me a baggie, that means it has to be an actual surprise. So the next one that we open, next box, should also be a different surprise. All right, let's see what you give us here. Cause if, it, if you don't hide it, it's gotta be a, you know what? Let's just take one at a time. What we get, oh, is that a lip balm? I'm going to guess this is a lip balm. Let's go ahead and read lip gloss, close enough. Oh, is this going to be satisfactory and better than the mini brands? Because this is what the mini browns sound like when you try to open them. <laughs> Your time to shine, real littles. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you very crinkly. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> now the question is, is this like a liquidy lip balm or... Okay, it is a liquidy lip balm. So there you go. Lip gloss. Sorry. Voila. What's it smell like? <laughs> Oh, fruity. I'm usually a little bit more cautious with these things because I am highly allergic to makeup, as you can tell from my plain face. But you know what? It's a good excuse to be allergic to because then I don't have to put it on. Oh, naturel, my friend. Oh, naturel. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the other cosmetic item. What are you? Oh, oh, okay. These are not cosmetic. You have a finger ring? Not sure. I'm not sure. I guess, oh, a hair tie scrunchy thing, I think. My hair's not long enough to put up, but I'm going to assume this is a kind of scrunchy. I know many of you grains said that this actually hurts less than the rubber band types. And the other thing is a mini comb. It's a little conflicting because it feels like if you're going to give me things that are functional, why give me something non-functional in the same baggie? Or is it just me? I feel like if you're going to make a thief. <laughs> 
it. You saw nothing. If you're gonna make a theme, make it consistent. Make it make sense. And then that's it for the inside. It's cute because we have the little buckles in here. Again, slightly disappointed that the buckles aren't actually usable. Like mini clips, how cute would that be? Very cute is the answer. You don't even need to wait for the answer. It just feels like a lot of hard plastic for the premium price tag, despite the fact that the Real Littles backpacks and bags are way more superior products, in my opinion. All right, now for the big one. Wait, does this retract? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, that would have been amazing. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go down. That didn't sound good. <laughs> All right, now for the big one. Bring your greens a little higher. And let's see what we got. Uh, oh, ow. All right, again, another baggie. So I think these are random surprises. We'll see, let's not get too far ahead. And on the inside, we have compartments to put whatever things you may or may not get and more compartments on top. Is there anything in here? No, these are empty. Here you go. It's upside down, nothing's happening. We have a strap here, a little on the stretchy side. So that's kind of neat. Why didn't they do that with the small one? I'm very critical because I feel like they can improve on their products. They've done great things. And then some other ones like this one in the locker feel kind of lazy. Hey, real littles, if you need a consultant, you can hire me. Grains, feel free to go to their Twitter and tell them hire Nerdy Crafter as a consultant. Link will be down below. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open this one. And as per usual, we're just going to pull them out and see what we get. We have another sticker sheet, interesting. We already got a sticker sheet in the journal, so I'm not sure why this one, I guess this one is for the bags and the other one's for the journal. Okay, I, I get it. Another cassette, but they're basically the same kinds of stickers. That's what I'm saying, lazy. And then, oh, we have postcards, one with a sunset at the beach and the other one from Paris. Mm -hmm. Paris, bonjour. Ça va bien, mes tout petits. So these are absolutely cute. Next, we get, oh, a bag tag with a name identifier. This one is a strawberry. I like this one. I love the aesthetic of this one. It is transparent with green and pink. And then, oh, a nail filer. We have a nail filer. So it's a mixture of like mature items. And then, ooh, nail polish. Okay, and this is actual nail polish. Very cool. Fun fact, I'm also allergic to nail polish as I found the hard way because I kept buying nail polish from Simply Nail Logical and Mariah Elizabeth. And now I have to use fake nails if I want to do any kind of nail decoration because my fingers swell up if anything has metal in it. But for science, we will test it out. I'll just make sure it doesn't touch any of my skin. So we'll get there at the end. And that is it. Okay. So here's everything that we got in both the journal as well as the luggage. These are pretty cute, but something's missing. This kind of feels, like I said, cheap and lazy for $20. It just feels like we're getting a container. But okay, let's craft for us with the back of the box and see what we did get and what we, what we may not have gotten. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I think this can go in here. Don't make me into a liar. There you go. There you go. You have your journal can fit right in there. All right, so we do have this one that we haven't opened yet. Let's see what items in the back that we may or may not have gotten. This does not look good. So all of the items we can see in the back of the box, we absolutely did get every single one. However, I'm gonna put my hope out there and expect maybe that they're gonna be different. Like the handbags all showed the same item, but they had different themes. There's only one way to find out. Two hours later. Some of you say, but Jakey, you should have just bought ones with different colors. Look, listen, listen. Hey, listen, listen. Listen, Nanda. Listen. They're only offering this product in one color. Same with the lockers, one color, and you're always thinking that the inside is going to be different because the outside is all the same, so you can't tell what surprises you get. But that's not the logic. That's not it. <laughs> so we have the cardboard packaging again. And here's the journal on the inside. It's going to look exactly the same because I mean it is themed in uh, travel. And on the inside, oh boy. Yup, exact same pencil, exact same stickers and stencil. This ain't looking good. You just get back in there. Get back in there! Game y'all go. Now in here, 
Why do you put it in a bag if it's not going to be a different surprise every time? Just don't, just cut, cut down a waste, my friend. We have the scrunchie in the same color. We have the lip gloss in the same color. And hey, let me guess, it's the comb. Yep, and we get the comb. Maybe the next bag will be different. Maybe the other bag has different things. And you? Are you any better? We have two postcards. Hey, let me guess. Okay, the beach and Paris. Yup. And then exact same strawberry tag. Then exact same sticker sheet. So you really don't have an incentive to buy multiple. And the exact same color of the nail polish. That's it. That's, that's what I paid $20 for. That's $40 in total, basically for containers. And the moment many of you have been waiting for is the nail polish. And yes, I did shooketh it. Here we go. And on you go. Oh gosh. Oh boy. In case you can't tell, it is pretty transparent, although very glittery. So you would need maybe two or three more coats. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it doesn't smell like nail polish. There's no smell whatsoever. I'm gonna rank opening these luggages as an experience a 2 on 10. But at least we have the mermaid backpack. <laughs> this break maha. If you see real little is little, good. If you see real little big, no good. They just break maha and make me cry. It's garbage. It's poop. It's trash. It just is. In the trash. And for this unboxing of Real Littles, we're doing the Real Littles backpacks. Here we have a mermaid theme, not to be confused with a previous different kind of mermaid theme we did in a previous other unboxing. Wow, my vocabulary today is number one English and great, very good English today. <laughs> And for this one, there is a limited edition calculator. We haven't gotten any limited edition stuff, so it'll be great to actually get one of them. Oh my god. We can get anything from colored pencils. I wonder if they really work. A sticky tape, sticky notes, a notebook and pencil. Well, pen. An eraser, sticker sheets, glitter ruler. Okay, and a candy marker. Now, unlike the uh, luggages and the lockers, these are random. You can get any of these things, potentially some of them not. And that is why I'm curious to see what we get inside. Oh my God. Now, I don't know if this translates well on camera, but there is an iridescent type of look to it. You can see a little bit of the glimmer over here. Let's see the back maybe. And it has almost a color shift to it. Can you see that? From purple to pink. That is awesome. I love the little scales in the back. Our straps are purple and the actual clip is a dark purple. And even though this is glittery, it's not an actual glitter piece. It is fabric that is glittery. So there's no, it's not scratchy. As per usual, we will open this tiny hole and put our finger all the way in to double check nothing's in there. No, did that make you uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't remember seeing the real littles tag on the other ones. Hang on, I actually have one nearby. Here's a Disney one. There's no tags. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. Our little mermaid things. Oh, there's a big thing in here. It is. Oh my God. <laughs> No, we got the candy marker. Now I don't know if they. You saw nothing. I don't know if they mean marker as in high. Aha, a highlighter. We've had bad experiences with the Disney highlighter, so we're definitely going to be testing that. It is really cute. The holy shrimp. The design on this with the cute little lemon heads. Oh my god, I love you. Wait, was that one smiling? Oh, that one is smiling. Oh, wait, wait, they're all doing the same face. I just don't have my glasses on, so I can't see things. Next, oh, we got the marker and the pen. Fancy. The gradient is excellent. We go from a metallic to a kind of matte texture, also with the mermaid scales, and the top is a glittery cap. See, this is what I'm talking about. This unboxing is way more superior. Stickers? Stickers! Not mermaid theme though. Very random. I'm not crazy about this which means that the sticker sheet is generic to all of these series of this backpack. I would have liked it to be, you know, mermaidy. But so far we've gotten one mermaid item. Next, okay, we have a spiral bound notebook. 
with the scale. So this is the only thing that's also mermaid E, but don't expect the inside to be mermaid themed. It's just the outside, which again, that's okay. But they really need to put the effort in the same way that they do with the Disney ones. Trust me, watch the Disney little videos. Next, what are you? Oh, a ruler. Okay, we have, oh no. Oh, that is dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we have a piece of plastic. Holy shrimp. Look at that. That is dangerous. Real littles, be careful. Oh my god. It's cute, but it's dangerous too. Like me. A little bit of cute. A little bit of dangerous. <laughs> and I think that's it? No, wait, there's something in here. Wait, what? What's this? Oh, sticky pads. I thought it was a piece of cardboard. Okay, we have the little sticky notes in there. And that's for that one. This is our highlighter and pen testing book. Let's see how you fare. What? Say what? Okay, you're my favorite now. Our mermaid pen. Oh, it is purple. Yes, very juicy. Here's everything we got in the little mermaid backpack. Miles better than the actual baggages. However, inferior to the Disney ones. I'm gonna say that this backpack is, you know what, a 7.5 on 10. Whether your grains are looking to improve on your self-care time, looking for a new hobby that can help you, you know, level up your side hustle, or even just for yourself, I've got the perfect sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community of thousands upon thousands of classes and community sharing projects, with members of well across 150 different countries. I absolutely love Skillshare. I've even talked about it often of sponsorships because I'm always so excited to learn new skills. And more specifically, recently I've been obsessed with wanting to learn how to do 3D modeling. As you know, I've created my own figurine where we made our own mold that we can cast a figurine basically from it. However, there were so many imperfections, so I had to get some help smoothing it out in 3D. So now I am taking a Skillshare class by Dave Reed called 3D Modeling for Beginners with Nomad Sculpt. And I absolutely love how friendly and approachable this class is. So whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, Skillshare is the place to find the thing that suits your needs whether it be in arts or crafts, productivity and or efficiency, or even business tactics. It's also ad-free. And their premium classes are launched each week. And now they even have subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below and use my code NERDYCRAFTER because the first 1,000 grains to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and being supporters of this channel. Let me know what your opinion is. Would you ever buy the luggage ones after seeing that the the experience you get. If you want to watch some of the Disney real littles, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something interesting like fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.